Welcome back to Element 14 Presents. I'm Katie and in today's episode I'm going to have a go at making my own wearable electronics. So there's a bit of a backstory to this project. I saw Arduino came out with the uh, Arduino Uno Mini Gold limited edition board and I thought that looks cool but then I thought essentially what's going to happen with a limited edition board is it's going to sit on my shelf up there along with my original Raspberry Pi and other boards or it's going to end up in one of these boxes. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who has a few boxes full of various dev boards that they've bought over time. Um, let me know if you've also got your own stash. Hopefully I'm not alone with this uh, collection. But I thought it seemed a real shame for this to end up with one of those fates. So I started thinking about if I got one, what I could do with it that would put it on display um, and make actually use it rather than it just sitting stationary. So I came up with the idea of a piece of wearable electronics. So that's my starting point is this board. My aim is something that I can wear that will put this Arduino on display, make it a feature of the project rather than it just being a board inside a box where you can't tell that it is the gold edition. Let's get started. So first up, my plan for this project. So like I've already said, the microcontroller is going to be the Arduino Uno Mini Gold Edition. But then what am I going to do around it? So I want something that I can wear on like a necklace. I thought it seems nice, practical and wearable. So I definitely want something jazzy and light. So my first thing is an output of LEDs. Now, I mean, what else am I going to choose? I'm going for near pixels. So I'm going to have near pixels connected to the Uno Mini. I don't want to be tethered to a wall or a power supply. So I'm going to try to make it have its own battery source. So probably a LiPo battery inside my wearable case. I could have inputs every board you add to it as an input is going to make the whole unit bigger and I want something wearable I don't want it to be awkward so I want to go as small as possible so I'm sort of thinking at the moment make it simple simple is better and just have the microcontroller the power source and my near pixels um, and then that I think will be as small as possible so that's where I'm starting. So I'm gonna have a look and get all those parts together. So my parts have arrived. I already had the Uno, but I've now got the Adafruit PowerBoost LiPo board. I can plug my LiPo battery straight into this and get five volts out, which is gonna go to the Arduino and to my near pixel strip. So this is a meter long, RGB near pixel strip, uh, but I'm just going to cut down what I want from it. So I'm going to have a go, connect this all together, just check it's working like I want it to, and then I can get designing the actual wearable. So the circuit's going to be fairly simple. It's just the near pixels plugged into the Arduino and the battery power coming from the power boost board. So I'm just going to test it out. I've got the Arduino IDE here and I'm just programming the Arduino with uh, one of the Adafruit NearPixel examples. So this is just strand test. So I'm going to program that up. So now that's finished, all it's doing is it's going to this NearPixel strip and just running a whole sequence of different rainbow type 
effects. I've got 10 neopixels here just to test because I haven't worked out exactly how many I'm going to need in what design I'm going to have. So that's all working off the USB power. When I ordered parts, I also ordered a couple different types of heat shrink with the idea um, of using them to diffuse the neopixels. Clear doesn't really diffuse, but it would provide protection to the neopixels. Uh, the white I really like. It's nice and diffusing and protecting. But actually, I've thought about it and I'm making a feature of the Arduino. So I'm also going to make a feature of the Neopixels and just leave them exposed so you can see what they are. Um, I think I'm going to like that better. Now I want to just check that the LiPo can power the circuit as well. So I'm just going to plug in my LiPo battery and just use these to put five volts onto the board and that's all working as well. So I've got battery power to lights. So I'm really happy with that. Now I've got all that working and checked, I can start thinking about how I'm going to mount this in my case. So I'm going to need room for the LiPo battery, the power board, the Arduino and however many Neopixels I can fit into my design. I'm sort of thinking if I want to make it as a necklace, a round pendant would be quite nice. So I want the Arduino to be right in the middle. And then I'm thinking about putting the Neopixels all around it in a circle. You won't be able to see the Neopixels front on, but actually against sort of a dark coloured top, you will see a glow appearing from the side. And I quite like that sort of design. It will just sort of illuminate what you're wearing like that. So that's my current idea. I'm going to open up FreeCAD and we can have a look at the case design. So I'm going to do the case design in FreeCAD. So let's have a look at that. So this is what it's going to look like. I've gone for a circular design so there's no sharp edges if you're wearing it and it's made up of several different layers. So this is my top layer. I wanted to make sure the Uno was a feature. So this is going to be cut out of two mil acrylic sheet. You might have noticed in my videos before, I've never used um, a cut sheet because I don't have a laser cutter or a CNC machine. Um, so I have hand cut one in like the barometer one. But I really wanted to make this a feature. I wanted to be able to see the Uno and I wanted it to fit really nicely. So I did some searching. Now I used to be a member of our local hack space where I used to live, but we've moved too far away. And there's nothing like that in our area. But then on searching, I found that there's a, another local maker who actually opens up his workshop uh, once a month that you can give a donation and come and use his equipment, which includes a CNC machine and a laser cutter. So I actually went there and I've laser cut this top panel. So I'm really pleased with that. I finally found a way that I can use laser cutting in my projects. So that's really good. So if you're in that sort of situation, it's just worth searching and seeing if anyone provides something like that. I'm really pleased I found it. So that's my top layer. It's got these cutouts here because when I put the body and the Uno on, the Uno will actually, the headers will sit flush with the top of this sheet and has a cutout. So I'll still be able to plug things in if I want to add anything um, or change settings. I've got all that functionality still available. You'll spot Throughout the whole design, I've got these five holes, which is where it's going to bolt together. So in the bottom design, I'm going to put um, heat, cert, threaded inserts, and then I can sort of bolt it together from both sides and we won't have the nuts visible. So that should make it look nice and sleek, hopefully. If I go back to the body, this is where the Uno is going to sit and it's got slots in the back for wires to pass through. This is going to sit on top of this bottom. 
Now it's slightly narrower because the near pixel is going to sit in this channel in the bottom around this middle section and that will just keep the near pixels all the way around the edge. The bottom has space for my LiPo battery and my uh, power boost circuit and underneath I've got a little slot here for an on off switch and then I've got my attachment layer uh, and this is just sort of a flat layer it's got a bit there to meet the back of the switch to stop it being pushed in but it's just got a channel where I can feed through a thread or a cord to make it into a necklace so that's my case design I'm going to send the bits to the 3d printer now and then once they're printed we can assemble it I've got my 3D printed parts that we've just seen being made and I've got my laser cut sheet. So now I can assemble them. So I've got my board that we were testing. So I need this board, but this near pixel strip's too short. So we're gonna cut a strip to length that will fit in this groove around here. So there's the electronics all soldered up. I put the heat sets on the front edge of this middle panel. Um, so I've screwed into them from this way, but I'm not qu quite going halfway through them. So I'm also going to screw these ones in to the other side of the same insert. Now we're ready for a grand switch on. Do you like free stuff? You can join the Road Test program. You can get free dev kits, test equipment, and even online training courses. In exchange for a detailed review, join our Road Test program. Learn more at the link below. Ah, free stuff? So now that's all assembled, I need to sort out the code to go on it. So here's the code I'm using. So this is the Arduino code. It's loosely based on the NearPixel example. So I've got three inputs set. So then I've got five different modes. I've got a rainbow, a sort of different moving rainbow effect, a purple color, a all white extra bright torch sort of mode and uh, this mode 4 which sets it to all red we'll have a look at that in a minute so I'm reading those three input pins and if you put a wire in the three inputs pin 8 9 or 10 it will swap between mode 1 2 and 3 if you don't do anything it will go on mode 1 and mode four is if it detects low battery because the LiPo board I'm using can give a low battery warning, then it will go into that mode four where it will go super low brightness and set all to red. And then these are the rainbows, which is the example code. So that's the code. I'm gonna program up the Arduino and then we can see that working. Here we have it all assembled. So I can flick the on off switch and we have rainbows. So obviously you could program this to do what you wanted. I've put a piece of cord on this so we can wear it as a necklace and I'm really pleased with it. The only things was that when I was designing it, I made it for the battery and the circuit to be side by side, which sort of made it the smallest it could be was this size. I thought it wouldn't be that large, but seeing it in person, it's a bit larger than I thought, still wearable, but I decided to set myself a challenge. Now, if you've seen my videos before, you might guess that I quite often make life difficult for myself and make things slightly smaller than they should be. So I tried to see if I could shrink this down. I have put the battery with the, the circuit, battery circuit on top of each other 
which will make it slightly thicker, but means I can reduce it to this size. So this one I can flick on. And we also have rainbows. Um, so it's a bit thicker, but a lot smaller. So I'm really pleased with that. Now the bigger one I thought would sort of be the right size for putting on a bag or something. So I've done a redesign of the back plate. Having it all separate layers means that it's incredibly simple to take the back panel off and redesign a new one that will just slot in its place. Now this one, I put a little slot for a metal piece of metal sheet in it. And then I've got this magnetic badge back, which just means I can magnetically stick it to either an item of clothing or a bag or something like that. So that just gives it lots more wearable options. If you're not the sort of person who wears a necklace, then I'm sure you're the sort of person that may have a bag that you can magnetically stick this to instead. Uh, it looked quite cool on a messenger bag flap. And then I'm now able to wear the slightly smaller one. So let's take a closer look at both of these. So I'm really pleased with how this project's come out. I really like the big one, but now I've done the small version, I really like the small one as well. It's just what I thought. It's making a feature of the Arduino Uno limited edition mini. Uh, it's got a lot of near pixels that I can program to do anything I want. You can use the header pins to change modes, to plug in a sensor do anything you want still on there. I really like them. It's come out just like I wanted. So let me know in the comments on the Element 14 community at the link below uh, what you think of them. Let me know if you're gonna do the same, uh, if you think I should have done something differently. Um, and just let me know if you'd like more like this, because I could do more wearables if you guys like it. Just let me know what you think. But for now, that's all. So I'll see you next time. Bye.